Miller Moss, Mario Ramsey, and Coach Riley. All right. Um, hard fought game. You know, just a, a really difficult loss. There's really no way to no way to sugarcoat that. Um, our guys fought their ass off um, from beginning to end. Uh, as a coach, you can't ask for anything more than, than the effort that our guys put on the field. Um, There's two good football teams going at it. Came down to the last play, and again, it's just it's it's. It hurts, obviously, to, to not be able to get this done. Um, we've had, obviously, a few games like this where we've had chances to win right there at the end. Um, and to not, you know, not make the plays, not have some of the breaks bounce your way, it's, it's, a, it's a gut punch. There's no doubt about it. And so we're, we're, we're very disappointed with not finishing it off. Um, I'm proud of the way that the guys fought. I'm proud of the way uh, that the team played. Gave ourselves a lot of opportunities to, to win it there in the end. So um, we've... Uh, We've got some work to do. We've definitely have made some some critical errors in some of the, uh, you know, in some of these games that we haven't won, uh, where we've had opportunities to finish teams off, and that's something that, that we all got to do a better job of. We've got to identify it. We've got to coach it better. We got to continue to progress as a team. So, uh, we got a united bunch of guys in that room that are that are hurting right now um, because they love playing the game with each other. I think you can tell that uh, they love playing the game for each other for USC, um, and that's why you see us play the way that we play um, and so they're hurt uh, but we will we will absolutely rebound we're excited for what's coming up and we, we understand the opportunities that are ahead for us and we will be a hungry motivated football team to go back to work um, and and obviously dive into the second half of the season Lincoln, what was the thought process in the final minute with the timeouts yeah we talked about it a little bit it was you know when we had the I think the lost yardage play on the I think it was uh I think it was the first down. Um, we kind of at that point started talking about, all right, do we need to use timeouts and stop the clock? I think it was the second and 12, if I remember right. Um, we were talking about, all right, do we need to use timeouts and stop the clock here? Because it, all of a sudden it's second and 12. If you don't get anything there, then it's third and 12, and you just potentially bought them you know, a series, and we weren't in field goal range yet. So you know, we went back and forth on, do we use them and stop the clock um, or not? And we felt... Honestly, I felt so good about how Mike was hitting the ball um, that we said, you know what, we're, when we got to, I think it was a third and six there at the end, like if we convert this, uh, we still got timeouts, maybe go one more shot and then, uh, and then obviously let him kick the field goal. So how well Mike was kicking it, I think was the, the biggest reason I wanted to make sure that it was the last possession. Uh, no, just talk about, describe how much this loss hurt what Coach was talking about from a player's perspective. Yeah, uh, shoot, they, you know, they all hurt. You know, this one especially was you know, excruciating, just in the you know the manner that it happened. Um, I think you know the flip side of that is that you know we've got a really really good locker room filled with really great people and really great coaches um, that's going to continue to stay together um, and go on and run this back half of the season. And that's the number four team in the country. So what does that make us? So. Kamari, with the de with the day that Tyler Warren had, was there any idea of playing bracket defense or, or potentially double teaming him? Um, I think that's a great question. Great question for Coach Lane. But um, I mean, we were in a we were in a we had a great scheme. We had a great game plan going into the game, and um, I think he had a great game. I mean, he's a great player. I mean, makes some great catches too. So um, I mean, just tip your hat off to him. But um, we were, we had a good game plan. We should have made made plays to stop him too. So, but he made great plays himself. So. Tip your hat off to him. Lincoln, this is another game in which you guys are a couple plays away. Um, does it feel like you're any closer to being able to close that gap? Or at what point does maybe that responsibility fall to you to figure things it out? It always falls to me. When have I ever shouldered responsibility? I always take it. I'm the head coach. It all's my, it's all my job. So believe me, there ain't nobody taking more responsibility than I am. So I don't know where that line of questioning comes from. Um, <coughs> Yeah, I think it's it, it is. I mean, and it's the right. It's the it's the good and bad of it, and it both exists. The reality is, we've played the toughest schedule in the country. The first six games, we've had a chance to win every single game, and that's hard to do. Like to put yourself in position to win these games is freaking hard to do to begin with. So we're doing a lot of good, and I understand that that good's not going to get seen by the outside right now because they're going to focus on the record and the fact that we've lost three games in the last play. And I understand it. Like that's part of it. We all knew this when we signed up for big boy football. So I get it. Um, we've got to do a better job at the end of games. I have to do a better job. Our coaches, our players, because we're doing too many good things to put us in, 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 in situations where we have the lead and we can win. And 
but we got to get we got to get paid off for it. We got to be able to finish, and it all falls on my shoulders at the end, and that's part of why they call me head coach. What's preventing you guys from getting that done right now? I think it's all sides. I mean, I think you could look at look at all sides. We've had opportunities on offense. We've had opportunities on defense. Um, you know, offense had the ball obviously with the chance to to go score with two minutes and change and all the timeouts. You know, defensively, we got them to two fourth and longs on the uh, on the series before. You know, where you liked your chances on both those, and they made you know two kind of crazy plays. Um, so we we've all had our side our chances. We all own in it. Own in it. We got to coach better. We got to play better offense. We got to play better defense in those moments. Going off that, Lincoln, is just you know, is there anything as you look back at these kind of last three losses that you feel like you know you reflect on? You you feel like you could have done better as a head coach. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, I mean I, everything, everything, everything that we do again, ultimately falls on my shoulders. And, and so I promise you, I don't sweep any of the, the bad or anything that hasn't gone our way under the rug. Uh, we're gonna go fight like we always do to, to improve, to continue to grow. Um, I've got to continue to get better. I own that and that's, that's part of it. So yeah, I mean, we could all be better and that starts with me. What's the moment in this game that sits with you when it's 10, 11 o'clock at night and you're thinking back about this game today? Man, that's... Like we do this for a living. Like this is our life. Like I, I didn't see my kids four nights this week. Like I mean, th this is what we do. I, th I think about this every second, and when I go to sleep, I dream about it, and I wake up thinking about it. So uh, I'll think about all of it. I'll think I'm not gonna. But the thing I'm not gonna do, and our team's not gonna do, is I'm not gonna let the things that we have to get better, the things that didn't go away. All right, shield the great things that are happening in that locker room, on this defense, on this offense, and this program. I'm not going to let that happen personally because uh, I've been in this long enough, man. Everybody's going to hit their adversity. That's part of it. And you either stand up and fight or you, or you, or you bow down, and, and I'm not about to bow down. It seemed like you guys rotated a lot more on defense. There's a lot of young guys getting there, too. What was the intent behind that? Was that heat-related or just? No, we didn't do it enough against Minnesota. Uh, we felt like that was something that we needed to be better at. We needed to, to trust some of these young guys. And I think you know they've also given us some reasons to want to trust them. You saw some young guys go in there and make some big-time plays in a big ball game. So um, obviously developing that depth is going to be important with the stretch we've had and with the stretch that we've got ahead of us. Like, like, what was it that they were able to do with Tyler Warren that gave the defense <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like Kamari said, listen, he's a great player. I mean, it's a guy that we knew was going to be a challenge coming in. You know, we had a couple coverage busts on him, and I think that's the thing we'll look back on. You know, when you play a really good player like that, you just want to make them earn it, right? Like, if they make a play, you want it to be like, hey, we were in coverage, we were in the right spot, listen, the guy made a play. Um, but we gave him a couple that we didn't make him earn it, and, and that's probably the thing that, that hurts the most. See one Coach, more? Coach, um, this is only coming up as a former player, because I know how I would react, but Penn State celebrated put their flag on the USC logo. What's, what's your reaction to that? Yeah, I, I don't get caught up in all that. I mean, that's all stuff outside the game. Um, you know, we're very proud of our program. We don't take a backseat to anybody, and uh, that's all we'd say. Thank you, gentlemen.